All right, here's a little uh, what I call real talk about what actually is going on right now and a viable, legitimate solution to it. And what's going on right now, when you look around us, you look at the amount of like illness, um, young people dying right now. I just found out a dude I wrestled with in college died at the age of like 44. Um, the amount of suicide issues, mental health problems, um, chronic debilitating diseases that people have in their like 20s that used to be like 50, 60, 70 year old types of things on stuff like that. The things our kids are dealing with now. I mean, the fact that suicidal thoughts are going through a 12 year old's head, a 10 year old's head, an eight year old's head doesn't work. It's not real. It's not legit in regards to how our bodies are supposed to be and how our lives are supposed to be right now with it. So you got to look at like what we're doing isn't working, period. And if anybody would disagree with that, look at the statistics. Statistics, statistics will show you that what we're doing is not working from a factual perspective on it. So here's my thing I, I've always tried to figure out like what really matters in life. What are the things that we're not doing right now that we need to start doing that gets us back on track? And I kind of came up with a list of four. Um, they're really simple things, which ironically is one of them. Uh, the four simple things that you can start to implement. And they, they take practice. It's not going to happen overnight because, again, you're going to want to revert back due to societal pressures and habitual things you have in your life that's going to make you want to go back to where you were before that sucks you right back into the path that 98% of the people in our country are on right now. So number one is real simple because it's simple. How do you simplify your life? How do you get rid of more stuff? You don't need more things. You don't need more friends on Facebook. You don't need more things in your schedule. You don't need to be busier. It's not a badge of honor. It's a, ba it's a badge that shows you have no boundaries on something like that. So simplify your life. What things can you simplify? Get rid of some of your clothes. Get rid of some of your extra crap. Get rid of some of your debt. Get rid of the things that consume you that don't matter because you got to make room for what does matter in some capacity on it. Secondly, and probably most importantly in this whole list, honestly, on here, is you need meaningful relationships in your life. You need people around you that, that they depend on you in some way. You, you are, uh, provide a service to them. You serve them in some capacity. You make their lives better. There's an exchange of value from a relationship. There's a depth of it that satisfies not just our need for people, but it's a soul thing. It's, it's literally a thing that at the end of the day, like you leave people and you feel better. And we live in a world right now where we've all of a sudden thought that isolation is the, is the, the ticket to a better life. It's easy. It's not better though is the problem with isolation on something like that. It's easy not dealing with people. People, they suck sometimes, period. But at the end of the day, we need meaningful relationships to provide value in our lives to feel a sense of worth to somebody else, which in turn gives us a sense of self-worth which you look at the mental health problems right now in general. Having a uh, Facebook friends of 5,000 people doesn't give you that. It's superficial friendships. It's not real meaningful relationships. Next on here, we need purposeful work. We need to find purpose in our work. It doesn't mean you did a, need a different job. It's need, the fact that you need to sit down and really ultimately define what it is that you do that serves people in some capacity. It may be directly. It may be indirectly. It may be the fact that what you do provides a level of quality of life for your family for the ability for them to grow on a different level, for them to experience things that they never would have if you weren't fulfilling that purpose with your work on there. You've got to dig into that to figure out what is that purpose that you ultimately serve through the work that you do. Define it so that that way you can discipline yourself to keeping that on the forefront of your head because work sucks sometimes just like people suck. And if you don't remind yourself, you're going to fall off the wagon eventually and work then becomes something that sucks the life out of you versus puts life into you and fulfillment into you on there. Um, and lastly on here, <clears throat> it's real simple, is that you got to start to get real. This is probably the hardest one because we live in a world of fake. We live with so many people that have a constant facade on all the time of being somebody that they think they need to be for the people around them, for the circumstances around them versus who they truly really are. What matters to you? What are your values? And how do you live those out every circumstance and every day in regards to what you do on a day in and day out basis on something like this? And being real in conversations, like what is it that you really feel like saying or know you should say that's respectful, but honest at the same time with somebody that they need to hear and you need to say? What is the uh, things that you do many times or you go along with because your group of friends sees it as being important or sees it as being trendy or it's the cool thing to do these days, therefore I'm going to do it. But deep down inside, it doesn't align with who you are and where you're going in your life. If you can't get real with what you, who you are and where you're going and what you want in your life, like you're going to constantly, it's, it's a massive amount of energy to get sucked out of you to put that facade on all the time on there. So simplify meaningful relationships, purposeful work, 
and getting real with who you really are in all the circumstances of your life, that right there, it's what I call it like aligned living. You're aligned with the way we're supposed to live. You're aligned with where you're going. You're aligned with our creator and how he intended us to all live in that circumstance. And the trick of it is this, and it, it's directly correlated. The more aligned you get, the more freedom and fulfillment in life you get as well too. So it's your choice whether or not you go in the right direction or continue down the wrong path. But ultimately, the consequences we pay are poor physical health, poor mental health, and ultimately, at the end of the day, a lack of any level of fulfillment and freedom in our lives. You got to make that choice.